This is the Canon EOS R, the company's first full-frame 35mm mirrorless camera. Now, if you're already a Canon shooter, this ticks all the boxes. It boasts killer saturated colors, works with LPE6 series batteries, and, via your choice of adapters, offers full compatibility with every EF lens made since 1987. More on those later. But what's different? The EOS R is mirrorless. Yep, electronic viewfinder, smaller form factor, you know, mirrorless. The big story here is the new RF mount. This frees designers and engineers to develop new technologies for an entirely new class of lenses. At launch, there's the 24 to 105 f4, 35 millimeter 1.8 macro, 50 millimeter 1.2, and 28 to 70 millimeter f2. That's right, a zoom lens with a maximum aperture of f2. Look at the size of this thing. And while the body is small, the glass is not, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. From my very first shot with the camera, it was obvious that these lenses are at the heart of the new system. Now, I've always been a huge fan of the somewhat difficult to use and always in need of micro adjustment 50mm 1.2 LEF. The RF 50mm gave me incredible results wide open with no calibration or prep on the back end. In fact, you're able to shoot wide open with this or any of the other RF lenses without loss of sharpness or AF accuracy. And this is all thanks to a shorter flange distance and Canon's dual pixel AF technology. Added bonus, because the new native RF lenses move the rear element of the glass closer to the focal plane, chromatic aberration is incredibly well controlled without the need for any computational photography. Photo quality is stellar. The EOS R rocks a 30 megapixel CMOS sensor, striking a sensible balance between resolution and low light performance. Video is pretty basic, but the autofocus is crazy good. If you're a vlogger, the flip out screen and face detection AF are a match made in heaven. In fact, AF is really one of the most distinguishing features of the EOS R. With an EV-6, this isn't just the best AF mirrorless performer I've tested in low light, it's one of the best low light focusing camera systems, period. AF speed is rated at 0.05 seconds, that's basically instant AF when you're using single point autofocus. The face detection mode is excellent, the IAF is good, but it doesn't support tracking. For folks that like to use extenders with long glass, the EOS R supports apertures as small as f11, that's pretty fantastic. Okay, handling. Now this is an EOS camera, but ergonomically it's cut from a different cloth. Gone is the rear command dial that's been the hallmark of EOS SLRs from the beginning. But RF lenses offer a customizable control ring. And you can set this to exposure compensation, ISO, or white balance. For me, I program the ring to aperture and I'm never going to change it. You can feel the stops as these little clicks while you turn the ring. And this physical feedback is one of those thoughtful little details that makes the shooting experience that much more pleasurable. On the back of the camera is a little touch bar. It recognizes taps and swipes, and its functions are also fully customizable. Haven't really used this enough to get a handle on its utility. I set it for ISO, seems to be working just fine. All right, let's talk about the lens adapters. So generally, I don't like lens adapters. They malfunction, they're awkward, they wobble around, they cause me anxiety. That's not the case with Canon's three lens mount adapters. Yes, there's three. One is a straight up conversion adapter. No bells or whistles, it adapts EF and EFS to RF. No muss, no fuss. Option two, same as option one, but with a super cool customizable control ring. Option three, EF and EFS to RF. Super cool customizable control ring and drop in filters. That's right, it just got super easy to add ND, variable ND, or circular polarizers to all of your EF and EFS glass. There's also announcements today for two new Telephoto L-Series lenses. There's a brand new 400mm 2.8 and a 600mm f4. Looking forward to checking those out soon. For EOS M-Series users, there's the brand new EF-M 32mm 1.4 STM. That's the fastest aperture prime in the EOS M line. And the brand new Speedlight EL100 flash. Got some bounce, got some tilt. And look, this thing is so small. I had an excellent time playing with the Canon EOS R today, really looking forward to working with a full production model soon. For more on the Canon EOS R photography and all things imaging, visit b and I'm photographer David Flores, see you next time.